Hi, I'm Katie Fehrenbacher with GigaOM TV's Green Overdrive Show, and we're here at the Green Car Expo in Richmond, California, and we're standing in front of Toyota's official plug-in Prius. It's a prototype right now, but it's coming out in 2012, and I'm here with Frank Bain, who is the plug-in hybrid electric vehicle expert for Toyota. So tell me why Toyota wanted to put a plug on the Prius, so to speak. So the plug is on the Prius now, so you could actually charge it up at home, normal 110 outlet, and you could actually drive around just on the battery power alone. Okay. What are, how much better is the miles, miles per gallon from the Prius versus the plug-in Prius? Sure. On the standard Prius that's available currently, you can drive half a mile and up to about 30 miles per hour. On the new plug-in version, on a full charge, you could drive up to about 13 miles and drive up to highway speeds about 65 miles an hour. In terms of efficiency, how much fuel are you saving um, with the plug-in version? Well, if you have a short commute to work, uh, less than 15 miles, you essentially don't have to use any fuel whatsoever. What's the total range and on the battery and then including? <clears throat> yeah, so theoretically it has a 10 gallon gas tank, um, estimating 50 miles per gallon. So between the a full charge and the gas tank, it's 513 miles on one single fill-up. Okay. And what about the price uh, from the Prius compared to the plug-in? Yeah, pricing at this point hasn't been officially announced, so uh, in the next few months you should hear something. Okay. Will it be more expensive, do you think? Uh, estimates are. The, uh, the battery uh, is a lithium-ion battery pack yeah. replacing the nickel metal hydride. Right. So the battery itself is uh, quite a bit more expensive, so yeah, I would expect a a price increase over the 22.8 base price right. of the uh, and the battery is bigger too. Slightly bigger. It's about 200 pounds more battery than the standard Prius. Uh, so yeah, slightly bigger, but again, it's lithium uh, ion battery. So the density is much greater. Okay. How long does it take to charge up? Yeah, good question. That's always the big problem with the plug-in vehicles. Uh, on 110, it takes three hours to charge, and if you do have 220 available, it only takes an hour and a half. That's for the full battery? Full battery charge. Three hours. Yep. So located in the back here, over the standard Prius, this is about an inch and a half higher. Mm -hmm. The battery now takes up the entire trunk space area. In the standard Prius, you could actually open this up, and you'd see the spare tire stored. In this, you only have this storage space oh, underneath. Wow. So, <laughs> so you have no space. Yeah, vir virtually it's just the, the hatchback. Okay. So that noise we're hearing, it's cooling down? Actually, yeah. The, so the engine just shut off. Now the engine is not running. But yeah, the engine will kick on just to circulate the, the water okay. in the system to keep things cool. Okay. There it is again. Right. So is this the same basic front as the standard Prius? Yeah, absolutely. It looks the same. Same 1.8 liter four-cylinder engine that's in the, in the standard Prius. Uh, looks identical. The difference is really in the back. Yeah, but it's got this nifty little fancy logo match too. Right there. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's drive it. Sounds good. So I've driven a lot of Priuses. I'm a city car share member. Is this the same setup, basically, as the standard Prius? Exactly. This is the same uh, layout as the third generation Prius, which was just came out in mm -hmm. 2010. Uh, so yeah, it looks the same on the inside. Same running gear. Same layout. Here we go. So I'm driving in electric mode right now. Cause exactly. The uh, again, the green is up on the dash there. Okay. And if is it like in the Prius where if I accelerate, it'll kick out of it? So it, if you look at the dash, you just kicked into the power part, and that's where the engine actually came in. So if you accelerate really hard, yes, it, the engine will will feel a demand. There you are. Like that. <clears throat> but you can see you're going 63 miles an hour. Yeah. And now you're not using the engine at all, so you can still go quite quick. So are there any major differences between, in terms of driving, when the Prius versus the plug-in Prius? No, it actually feels the same when you drive the vehicle. It's uh, an automatic switchover, so there's no buttons to press, as opposed to the standard Prius where there's an EV button. That's eliminated on the plug-in version. Uh, it's just an automatic changeover when there's enough power to use the battery alone. Okay. Yeah, it definitely feels like the standard Prius when I drive it. The, the, there's not that much torque, right? It's just kind of like gently driving. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, the power is generating between the engine and the electric motors. So if you're doing that transition between the two, then yeah, it takes a little bit. A little kick. Thank you for the drive, Frank. You got it.